Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I mount my 112 scale bodies onto my 112 scale chassis. Now, when I first started out with 112 scale racing, I had issues with getting the body lined up perfectly over the front wheel wells, and uh, it can be somewhat embarrassing having, you know, one wheel sticking, you know, halfway out on the one side of the body, and then on the other side, it's so tucked in you can barely see it. Now, I'll show you my methods and hopefully uh, it will help improve your body mounting skills. Alright, so first and foremost, what I've done is I have removed the outer trim from the body. This just makes things a lot easier. You're not fumbling around with the, the outer lip of the body. So you cut that off and uh, we'll start things. Now, before I go into anything uh, with the body, I just want to mention a few things with the car itself. Um, to make things a lot easier, what I've done is I've spaced out uh, the axles so they're a lot wider. Now, not too wide, because what you want to do is you want to allow the body to rest back onto the chassis, but there is no side-to-side -side play left and right. You want to make sure that when you put that body on, it's nice and snug. Okay, you do that for the front and you do that for the rear and you want to make sure that you space both sides evenly. Okay, you don't want to just space out the one side here. You want to do both sides equally spaced. Okay, and so that's it for the, uh, actually there's one more thing. You, if, you're, if you're running a new chassis, you want to make sure that your body posts are not like totem poles. You want to make sure that they're cut down to a relatively uh, short length, not too short because then you might not be able to use them. Um, you don't want them standing up like totem poles. Um, you could also put in a battery if you want. Um, for this, this is just a demonstration purpose, so I'm just going to leave the battery out. Um, so, I've spaced out the axles, front and rear, evenly, left and right. Body posts are cut. Now let's put the body on. Now, when it comes to uh, getting... Uh, the body mounted, you want to focus your attention on the front because uh, you want to make sure that the front end is nice and in line. Uh, you don't want to have any offsets left or right because that can also that can look bad but it also can maybe change the way that the body will handle going in and out of the corners. Not only that, going down the straightaway as well. So let's take a closer look to the body shell itself, especially the front wheel wells. Now, this is a protoform uh, AMR body, and I think with most protoform bodies, there's a little indicator line here at the very bottom. Now, this indicates the center, and what you can do is simply take a ruler and a black sharpie and simply mark uh, a line going up straight. You don't want to have it angled. You want to make sure it's nice and dead straight, okay? So this will be the center line where you want to have your axle lined up right in that center okay now we've gone ahead that, well you can see here it's all done and all ready to go um, I haven't done the rear because uh, that will be something uh, separate okay so axles are spaced out we got the actual uh, center line marked on the front end you want to do this for the left and the right hand side okay uh, for demonstration purposes I've just done the one side so I'm looking here, you can just get down close, line that up nice and evenly, look on the other side, boom, everything's great, everything's lined up, I'm happy. Now, just to double check to make sure everything is all lined up nice and evenly, what I like to do is I like just to do a visual check by looking at the position, which I'll mark, just temporarily, you can, you can erase it if you need to, I mark it like so. Now I'm doing a visual check to see whether or not the po this post here to this reference line here is relatively the, s relatively the same on both sides. You can take your vernier caliper, you can take a ruler and just simply measure and take note. Okay, so that's 18 on that side from edge to the center of the body post, 18 on that side. So that's perfect. And you can also do the front bias as well here. All right, do that like so. Okay. Okay, so there you go. I'm happy with that. What you can do 
these can also kind of you know look above and get a visual of you know where the wheels are in relation to the wheel wells it looks fairly good there and i'm happy with that okay so we've we've we're completed uh the, we've completed the front end we have our holes marked make sure you have a permanent marker because you don't want to smudge it off and so we're finished with that all right it's pretty easy to do now for the back end of the 112 scale especially for the body posts one thing that we've already done that we've done the same for the front is that we've spaced out the axle so there's no movement side to side so we know for a fact that the body should be in line with the rear as well so taking a look here I've marked the holes here the body posts here for the holes like so and like so now I'm also going to use some reference points here I'm going to use the the inner lip here and the inner lip here all right and you can also use this this lip here all right it's okay to mark the body because this is just a film that you that you'll have to remove after painting and so what I'm doing is I'm just doing a visual check here um, you can go ahead and be precise with some vernier calipers just the edge here the edge here all right do the same does that match that boom it's perfect all right everything should be good to go now now people question about the position of the rear axle it's like well what do i do what how do i how do i figure this out well what i like to do is i like to simply you now you could take a ruler if you like um you take a ruler and just you don't want to disrupt the body so much where you know you can go ahead if you're happy with the positions you can drill the holes and have the body mounted and then you can simply take a ruler and just you know squat down eyeball the center like so okay and you do the same for the other side and then once you're happy with the alignment um, you're trying to figure out you're trying to figure out well how big do I make this shape here well what you can do is take your circle cutter and simply take your wheel and just relatively just get it relatively in line with the type the size of foam that you're going to use all right generally going a little bit bigger is better all right and so I have my uh, uh, size that I've I've gone with and then what I do is I pick the center and then I just simply mark out the circle like so okay and that's pretty much it um, now the front is quite easy to do all you need to do is set this so it is uh, set up perfectly when you do the full cut uh, and that's pretty much it then you drill the you drill the holes with your body reamer and you're good to go and you just cut out the holes and that's pretty much it and it should work every time like the body has all these markings to help you out with uh, understanding you know whether or not the body is in line or not um, hopefully those uh, visual references you know make you using visual reference points works out well don't worry to you know if you're marking up the body like so go ahead because that's just a clear film that you're going to have to remove but but the most important thing to do is make sure that the front end is aligned and then once you've got the whole position for the front end all set up and ready to go then you can work on the rear end and then uh, it's not a huge issue with the the hole in the back end here um, but you know you'll be fine if it's a little bit bigger than normal it really depends on what tire sizes you use for the rear end um, and that's pretty much it like to give you an idea I'll show you the body that uh, I have here now I spend a lot of time making sure that this body is mounted up nice and neat because this was, was a custom body that was given to me as a present so as you can see here it's not as good but but everything everything is in line I think it's because I have these little foam spacers on here 
but everything is relatively in line with the body. Um, 